What's up, everybody? This is BQ. Please follow me at BQ Speaks on Twitter and Instagram. I know this is coming a couple weeks late, but I wanted to talk about Shati Blackheart's Impact Wrestling debut, appearance, whatever you want to call it. Please leave a comment below so I can read your thoughts on here as well. This isn't just about me. As most of you know, Impact Wrestling's partner Rise held a seminar a couple months back in which Shotzi established herself as the standout of the group and received the opportunity to appear on some upcoming episodes of Impact. The seminar feature, featured excuse me, Gail Kim, Sanjay Dutt, Scott D'Amour, and Jimmy Jacobs. Now, during the WrestleCon weekend, I attended the Rise podcast, the live podcast I did, and I had asked the question if any of the ladies on the panel had any intent of int attending the seminar. Now, it was quite obvious to me based on the based off body language that only a couple of them intended on going. One spoke up and said, oh, it's, you know, it's good additional exposure. The only one who spoke up with enthusiasm about the opportunity and expressed genuine interest about the chance to learn from Gail Kim was Shotzi Blackheart. Now, Adam had said on a recent Impact review that the awesome thing about Shotzi, assuming that Impact eventually has the intent of bringing her on full-time, is that she already comes with her own character, her own style, her own gimmick. And he's right. You can tell that the ballsy badass has her own original thoughts and she's not copying another gimmick or trying to be somebody else. And on top of being outstanding in the ring, she's 100% committed to who she is out there. The helmet, the flag, the hair. It stands out and it's unlike anything else out there. Love her finisher, the back, uh, the, uh, back lagoon, by the way. Now, if you see Shotzi in real life, wow. Hotter than Rihanna with gonorrhea in Guyana. Trust me, she's a jaw dropper, folks. But it's not used in any way to her benefit when it comes to the Shotzi Blackheart character. It's pretty cool. Now, think of recent knockouts who were unable to get much television time or storyline because they were just they were just wrestlers. I'm talking Ava Story, MJ Jenkins, even the current knockouts such as Alicia Edwards, who plays her role wonderfully in storylines, but they seem to struggle finding an in-ring opportunity for her. My nine-year-old son, he's an Ali fan, and we watched Ali versus Shotzi Blackheart. We watched that match together. He was obviously rooting for Ali, but by the end of the match, he liked Shotzi so much that he started cheering for her instead. And this wasn't an enhancement match either. It was competitive, and she looked great out there. Gotta love how she sold the code breaker at the end of the match as well. Now, the next week, she was placed in a tag team match with Tessa Blanchard as her partner against Ali and... Kiara Hogan. I love that graphic, by the way. It was quite obvious that she was not just viewed as an enhancement talent being placed in a match like this. Yes, she played a role in furthering the Tessa Alley storyline when Tessa left her alone, but two matches booked so far, she's uh, viewed and booked much more importantly than Amber Nova ever was. I attended the Rise of the Knockouts and was definitely excited to see her. Uh, didn't get the opportunity, though. A week or so before the match, her and Delilah Doom, both ladies, broke their ankles. I believe that's what the injury was. The Rise of the Knockouts main event was changed, but the original match on Twitch was supposed to be Shotzi Blackheart versus Delilah Doom in a 30-woman, excuse me, a 30-minute Iron Woman match. They had just torn the house down in Los Angeles not too long before that. Now, obviously, they were replaced by Tessa Blanchard and Mercedes Martinez, but the original match was Shotzi versus Delilah Doom. Not only were we robbed of that match, but the ladies were robbed of their opportunity. After Shotzi's first match, Don Callis said on commentary something to the effects of impact management would be fools not to sign her. I agree. My hope is that once she's fully healthy, impact gives her a long, hard look because Shotzi Blackheart, in my opinion, could be the future of the knockouts division. Hey, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Check out the video below for more Impact Wrestling related content. This is the Impact Lounge.